Welcome this morning. I am going to do something a little different. We're going to use a black background and I'm excited to show you what you can do on a black background. So what one thing I want to share with you is if you like what I'm doing today, please hit like and subscribe and come join us and look at my membership too. We have lots of wonderful discounts. So starting the 15th of March, 2023, whenever you're watching this, we are now giving you 20% off all my lessons and online products by being a member of my membership. So it starts at $9.95 a month and there's other avenues that you could check out. So it's right here. It says join. And when you click join, it'll tell you everything that you can pick. All right. So thank you for being on this morning and I will get started. All right. Okay, so we have a black canvas that we're working on today, and I am going to pick out some metallics that I think that you will like, and we've got fun metallics to work with. We have this uh, treasure gold, and it's um, a green gold, which I really like. We also have lavender, and it's called purple, purple topaz, so those are really fun. We also come in smaller bottles, okay? And this one's um, rose gold, but I think I'll just use these two. And treasure gold also comes in gold and different colors of gold. All that's on my website that I was just talking about. All right, so I am going to, first of all, put out some of the golds on here. All right, so we have a little bit. See how you have to roll it to stop it. All right, and the same thing here. I hope you're having a good morning. And oh my goodness. Okay, don't do that. I should <laughs> I should take this off, but I'm not going to. I want to um and refilm, but I'm gonna go for it. Okay. <laughs> All right. If that ever happens to you, just put it back in. Okay. So now I'm going to pick up my three quarter inch flat. And this is a one stroke brush, okay? This is my dark green handle for the ones I use the most. Okay, so I am going to just come in here and do some fun wishing back and forth, going off the edge, that's the green. So when I'm doing this, I'm going to come in at like three places, for instance. I'll see the light brushy marks. Those will make it look good. And so it's really shiny now on the canvas um, in the camera on me. All right. So you want it real abstract and different here. I'm going to wash this out, dry it off, and pick up some uh, purple topaz. So. All right now the black is one color that really makes it stand out okay and so let's put a little bit here so i do this also think about this also to t-shirts and sweatshirts i do designs like this and i'm ready to go so i have some paint i was already using today so these are multi-surface paints. Look at this, multi-surface. They're acrylic, but they go indoors, outdoors, and they are pretty amazing. So I did citrus green and thicket. And I'm gonna, I dampened the brush, laid it on paper towel, picked up more paint. See how I'm gonna side load the white. Okay. And I'm just gonna wonder these vines on here so what i want you to see is this is the chisel edge and this is the edge that i'm going on so since i'm going on black i'm going to lead with the dark edge whatever follows is going to be 
the main color that you see. All right, so I'm going to come off here and see how it pops because when I did the dark edge, the dark edge doesn't show as well. But so I turned it just because of the colors we're using. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to come in here. We're going to do some roses. Just, so I'm going to wash this brush. I'm going to get a 16 flat. It's also one of my one stroke flat brushes. I have a great set of brushes that are very inexpensive that you can pick up that has 10 of my most used brushes if you're just starting out. And then some higher quality ones that use 13 signature brushes. All right. So I have lavender and violet pansy. I was practicing this earlier. And these were a little center. So I don't think that color is going to be in here. All right. So I have floating medium down here. This is a clear medium, which is what's inside the uh, paint with no color. All right. So come here and side load some white. All right. Okay, so I am going to, I'm just trying to decide. I'm spring, so I'm thinking about what colors I want. All right, let's pick up white. Now, I let this dry a little bit much, so we don't want to do that. So let's get fresh white. Okay. Look at the difference when I come here to the fresh white. Look, I'm right there. Okay. Now look what's going to happen here. All right, I'm laying the brush flat. I'm putting the white on the outside. Okay. Now look, I keep coming here to pick up white. So we're going to make a second layer and in this layer, I'm going to come right in here and make the center of the bud. Is that kind of fun? We can also come here. This is moving around a little bit. Okay. All right. See, we lean this out, lean this out. Okay. So I just picked up a little bit more of the violet pansy. So I can bring this around. See how I lay the white down, lay the white down, and then come across. All right, so because it's on the metallic and because it's on the black, see how that stands out? Okay, so we're going to come right in here, right in here. Okay. All right, let's get some more. Let's have some coming down. So I don't have to do a lot of the full rows. But look how pretty these buds can be. So see, I'm going to do another one slower so you can see. Now with that lavender in the back, it's going to really, the lavender, what is it? Purple topaz in the back, I love. All right, so we're going to come up here. I keep getting white. Now let's watch that slow. We're doing up and over. Then we're going to start where we where we started there. And get fresh white. Come where we started there and come back up, and you close that off. Then I'm going to come a little bit whiter, and then I'm going to lay the white out. Lay the white out. So see, I just take that one corner, lean it, and come across. And then I'm up on the chisel doing this. Okay.
And we're gonna come over here. All right, so there's a second stroke. And then we can come out here and come across, come across. See, so lean the white. So I touch, turn the white out, turn the white out, turn the white out, and stand up. You see that? And then just use that corner with white and put in a few other slices. See that a little bit? So this is just kind of fun. I can come in here, put a, little, a few little dark spots, which could be just um, a fake flower there, kind of giving you that illusion that we have some small flowers in here. Okay, let's get a little bit in here. Okay, so now I'm taking the white corner and I'm slip slapping with just the corner, okay? I hope you're learning something this morning and I hope I inspire you to paint one stroke with me. Okay, so we're just putting little bits of white in here. Okay, now we need to do some pretty green. So what I thought would be nice is to come in here. Ooh, 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 ooh. We can pick up some cobalt. No, I mean Prussian blue and citrus and see how that looks. Because I'm going to pick up the green, treasure gold. And work that in. What does that look like? I'm just trying it out with you and see what y'all think. Okay. I think that's going to look good. Let's look at it. All right. That blue gives you the blue is on the color wheel is a good color to add with the lavenders. Okay. All right, so see, that's two strokes for that leaf. I have on on uh, Fridays, we have practice strokes. And on practice strokes, I teach you a lot of leaves. I teach you how to load your brush. I teach you all kinds of wonderful things for your painting experience. Okay, so see, it's kind of nice when I pick up a little bit of purple. So let's pick up just a teeny bit of purple and see what that looks like. A little bit more. All right, so the purple and the green and blue look good too. There we go. Wow. Look at that. Oh, I love that color. Is that yummy? So you have three colors. Ooh, look how pretty. So see, that's a big difference from here. So I need to put some darker ones in here. Let's put it right in there. See how that adds to it, especially on the black. Oh, I love that. I hope you guys do. See, as I'm creating new in front of you, sometimes I don't know what it's going to look like, but it's nice to see. So here's some lavender or the, what do you call it? The purple topaz. Okay. So if you see that, I'm pushing down, I'm wiggling a little bit and then standing up and always looking to get a tip, okay? All right, let's put some purple in there. Well, there we go. You can put as little or as much as you want. You can use a, a white background and put different kinds of colors in there that you're going to be using. But this one is all about on black and metallic. Oh, I got all these little leaves here. What you think? This lavender, I hope it shows better later. <laughs> 
Okay. There you go. So one little thing I want to do is this is just, uh, I'm not getting a, the topazy color. So I'm going to just use some violet pansy and kind of mix it and see what, there we go. See, that gives you some purple tones in there a little bit more and makes the purple stand out a little bit more. Cool. All right, a little bit of purple. Violet Pansy. Thank you guys for being on this morning. Sign it and share it. Come to our Facebook group. We love you newbies to come join us. All right. See you next time. Mm -hmm.